Hi, this is James with Northern Arizona Wind & Sun. Today we're gonna to talk about the Lynx bus system from Victron. Okay, so this is the Lynx system from Victron. Um, essentially, this is a, a bus bar uh, system for either joining uh, batteries in or power inputs or uh, load outputs to equipment like inverters and charge controllers and several other things. So we're gonna join the Lynx system together. A lot of people might think, you know, wonder what this particular product is. So this is essentially, it's a thousand amp rated bus bar. Um, so in this particular project that we're doing, uh, we're going to join all of the batteries in parallel onto this section of the bus. And then this here is the shunt. This is the link shunt system here. Um, this is measuring current down here on the bottom section. This is the actual shunt and the circuit board that monitors the current. Um, and then this section up here is where the overcurrent protection goes. So this is a CNN fuse. And for this project, we're going to use a 325 amp CNN fuse, which is essentially gonna bolt in here. And then our loads will connect onto these terminals here. For example, the inverter um, and the charge controller and the rest of the equipment that's gonna be pulling DC loads off of the batteries, which are connected over here. Uh, to supply power to the rest of the system. Okay, so the Lynx system connects directly to a color control or a Venus OS device, like the Venus GX or the new uh, Servo, um, any of the devices. The Lynx shunt takes the place of like a BMV712 battery monitor. It is a battery monitor, but it uses the, the Venus system as the display. Okay, so the Lynx system is going to come with uh, basically a temperature sensor uh, and voltage sensing module, um, some, some CAN terminators, and uh, we're going to use an Ethernet or RJ45 cable to go between uh, the Lynx system, the Lynx shunt specifically, and whatever device you're using to observe the battery monitoring. At the bottom of the uh, Lynx shunt are two RJ45 connections. This is a CAN based system and on our application here we don't really have any other CAN devices. So we're going to put one terminator in one of the terminals and then we're going to take the RJ45 cable and we're going to plug it in to the other terminal here and that's the other end of this is going to go to our color control. And then uh, with the Lynx system Essentially, we have uh, this temperature sensor, which we're going to wire um, to the temperature terminal over here. And that will eventually get routed down to one of the battery terminals. In this case, we're using lithium batteries, so we really don't need the temperature sensor, but we're going to use it for voltage sensing and low temperature charge prevention. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment.